Yeah. Slick change, baby. Yeah. Y'all follow me on Twitter, man. Yeah. Twitter.com slash slick change, change, baby. baby. You heard me? Y'all yeah. follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Stay on top of my game till the day that I die. Uh -huh. Slick change in your brain, never telling no lies. No. Got a girl fine as hell, got me rubbing the thigh. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Theater Boxing Gym in Edinburgh, Texas. My name is Albert, we're back with the show The Way In, and we are here with boxing prospect Gino De La Paz, Team Disciplina, right? Yes sir. Okay, so you are literally hours away from a fight at the Bird Ogden Arena, not just at the Bird Ogden Arena, but also your first televised fight. What's going through your thought process right now? Well, come up. This is what I've been dreaming of. This is what I've been chasing my whole life. I know I'm the underdog, but I love being the blue side. I love being on, I love being the opponent. That's what it's about, man. So, I have. This is a kind of a two-part question that I have for you. This is your first fight with Raúl Casares. Mm -hmm. So, why did you make changes to your camp? Because I had a worthless camp. That's why. I, I wasn't doing. I wasn't doing shit. I'm being straight up and honest with you. Raúl, me and Raúl go back years. Me and Raúl will know each other out of boxing. Now, with that being said, he's like a brother to me. You know, I take my shit off his back, my back for him. He take his shit off his back for me. He's opened his doors for me. I've opened my doors for him, and it's. It just came natural to come to him, and he actually offered to train me before, but um, I never got back to him because I was in a real bad depression right before this fight, right before, uh, actually, like, 24 days ago. The day of the fight, I got on my knees and prayed to God in my shower, and I asked him for a big break or a life-changing event, something that would motivate me, something that would change my life and drift me in a different direction. So I was heading down the wrong, wrong path again. So I asked him and uh, I, w I fell asleep at 10 a.m. and woke up at 6 p.m. with the text message of a lifetime asking if I wanted to fight Omar Waters on PBC. Mm -hmm. And I told him, bring that ass on. I'm ready. And Respect that ass. that ass, baby. And from a technical standpoint, what, have, what changes have you seen in your camp? You said you said you had worthless camps, but what changes have you seen like in the gym? I mean, I've been out there sparring with anybody and everybody that you bring towards me. I don't say no to anything. First day, I agreed to Raul's camp, and Tigre told me, bring your sparring gear because you're sparring. First day in camp. That's what I wanted to hear. That's what I need. It's about breaking the body, doing what you're going to do, and breaking it by sparring the first day. And that's exactly what we did. Hector Aguirre and Leo Montes, Eddie Castello, Nelson Hampton, all of them. I want to take this time to thank all these little youngsters because they helped me out, man. They really helped me. They really helped me believe in myself again. Even though they brought the pain, hey, I should the game, man. It's a hurt business. So you sparred all of them? I sparred all of them. So you weighed in yesterday at 139 and 3 quarter pounds. Yes, sir. Any problems making weight? I don't know. I don't know. You don't, you, don't have, you don't have to answer this question if you don't want to. But how much do you weigh in today? About 145. Comfortable? Comfortable. Feel comfortable. Let's talk about your opponent, Omar Juarez. Okay, so he's regarded as an up and coming prospect from Brownsville. We knew he made a lot of noise in the amateurs. 4 0. What do you need to do to pull off the upset tonight? Or are you going to let anything in all of your strategy? He can know it. We're coming after him. We're coming after that ass. That's all I'm telling you. He's never. <clears throat> I see it like this. I grew up as a child in the system. Del barrio. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I've been in prison three times through a whole total of six years. He he knows life, boxing. He don't know the struggles of life. He don't know about losing a brother. He don't know about losing a mom or a dad. He don't know about growing up without a dad. He don't know about being in a foster home. He don't know about praying with his brother to be not separated from a foster from, from a foster home. He don't know about his mom being in a federal prison. He don't know nothing about that shit. 
You know what it is to really dig down in, in, deep inside your soul and go out and grab that shit. I do. I'm everything here, everything, everything that he was given, I'm gonna go and strip that shit from him today. Do it. No, no, no lack in confidence here. That's awesome, man. So that's that was basically gonna be my next question. Any hype up, any trash talk going up into this fight? Between you guys? No más que este lito chavalón porque se lo voy a traer. All right. Any it's final? Hard. Any final thoughts for tonight? Por un pinche tiene disciplina. That's it. All right, guys. If you're free tonight, I mean, this guy's not lacking confidence at all. So if you're free tonight, go check it out, guys. Go, go support Team Disciplina. Gino, thank you for the time, man. Appreciate you, man. He's got to earn it tonight. Yeah. Slick change, baby. Yeah. Y'all follow me on Twitter, man. Twitter.com slash slick change, baby. You heard me? Yeah. Yeah. Stay on top of my game to the